Hello. Hello, we're back. You all right? Yeah, just been a mad week of just trying to catch up with builds, recording absolutely tons of stuff ready to release and yeah, just trying yeah, to Yeah, recorded quite um we've recorded quite a bit this week. Um obviously the enterprise turned up on uh, Saturday. But we've I've done a lot of the cardboard Star Trek models. Uh, Kirsty's done some Lego, so yeah, it's it's all on. It's all sort of banked. Just yeah. got to release it. I know. I've, I've been on it like a marathon. Let's just build every night type situation. Build everything. <laughs> yeah, it has been nuts. But you know, it's I just want to get caught up now and get back on a weekly schedule. Yeah. But it's just it's doing my head in that I've got I'm so backlogged behind on things. So. Oh, well, what can you do, though? So, uh, yeah, sure. it's been a mad week yeah. here as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a slow week for uh, part works in terms of, well, in terms of everything, really, because nothing's really, uh, they've had, obviously, distribution problems, uh, fan home. I think Hachette have also had the same problem. Um, but people have started receiving stuff as well. If you're a subscriber up to the Tumblr, People have started receiving that. Uh, it's coming together really nicely. I mean, I have I have it here, the bit that I did this week, which was attaching the frame up. Yeah. Um, that was an absolute nightmare, I've got to say. Bit of a a bit of a nightmare to do that. Um, but yeah, I think we put the cockpit in after this and we get roof sections as well. So it's sort of coming together um on that um but apart from that i don't think there's there's anything else really i did notice something on the portal which was the batman 66 yeah the next pack is now showing so right. pack two is now showing so hopefully that ships soon yeah i mean i've had i've had two deliveries from harsh yet, so it's been okay for me i've had my next pack of titanic and my next pack of lancaster bomber as well so uh, yeah I've, 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 obviously i've had problems with the with the the doll's house uh getting it from the news agents i got this week's issue no problem but the last two issues i've had to order i did order them on the i think it was the 6th of march and they still haven't been shipped i still haven't got anything notification or anything so i don't know what's happening with that i'm hoping that they turn up this week and right. i can carry on with that but um yeah that's why there hasn't been a doll's house on this on the website on on the um, youtube channel I think pretty much with Harsh Air, as soon as it gets shipped, they'll be with you within a few days. That's what I always find. Yeah, they're, they're normally quite good. They're normally on the ball. I mean, they do have a big, and I mean, a big distribution warehouse in the UK. Mm. Um, so, yeah, they're normally clued up. But, yeah, I, I've, I've noticed the, the issues haven't been at the news agents. I, did, I, I know you said you had problems picking up the cross stitch. Found it. You found it. Found it, yeah. So the Disney cross stitch we did, uh, not Disney cross stitch, the Peter Rabbit cross stitch. When we went into our local W. H. Smiths, it was in there. So yeah, yeah, I, I did. I remember when you said you couldn't find it, so I was going to try and pick one up, and I wanted to ask you tonight because there's there's quite a few about. So I think, I think in Yorkshire we're about a week behind everybody. Else. <laughs> so it's a case of yeah, the rest of the rest of the country might get it last week or whatever, but we get it a week later. So. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I think I think deliveries, like I said, a bit all over the place at the minute. Um, yeah. I apart uh, well, apart from the Enterprise build, that's the only thing that I've had shipped from Fan Home this month, and right. it turned up fine. I've got it here, um, but obviously nothing else is, has has come in as of yeah. yet. So normally by now, a lot of the stuff's normally showing on the portal, but the only thing is the sixty six. But I know that there's logistic problems. Yeah not too fast but there has been some um some talk on the facebook groups about um delivery and stuff like that um i think it comes down to people not checking the right information mm. um but people are rest assured you will get like i've said this before we will get our parts we we will get our builds yeah even if you have to wait you know, a, a month or two or a couple of more extra weeks you will get your parts yeah. So, I mean, if I look yeah. at mine, to tell you the truth, I haven't had anything from Fan Home this month yet. Yeah, it's not. It's, I know they. I know they send that in batches, but when I check the portal, like every other day, 
And the only thing I noticed was the Batman 66 that's appeared on there. Because it normally, what normally happens, it appears on the portal. And then about a week later or a couple of days later, it then goes on to processing. And then obviously to um, shit, but nothing's on there. Like I said, the only thing's the 66 Batmobile. So, um, I mean, we've still got two weeks left in the month. So, they, you know, they've got time. I'm not too, yeah. I'm not too worried. I mean, I haven't even had any payments for the models being taken out this month yet. So yeah. maybe short month, Dece uh, February, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah, February uh, wasn't, like I said, it's a short month. It throws everything out of whack. Uh, and then they've had logistic problems with getting stuff to various countries because of what's happening in the Red Sea. Um, so I think there has been a bit of a backlog uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. I know that there was already going to be delays anyway. I think I've, uh, there was, I think some people have received emails about a delay with the Robocop. Right. And I know that there was delays with the GTR and the 66 Batmobile. Um, but I don't know about any others. Um, but, you know, like I said, don't panic. You know, you know, Mr. Mannering, don't panic. Don't panic. Um, mm. Because it do, it, they do turn up eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh. and you do finish it, but it's not, you know, we've said, you and me, Wayne, um, you know, Scott as well, Boone and the Boys, we've all said it's not, it's not, um, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Mm. It's not about finishing first. Yeah. You will finish the model. And, you know, this is what I mean. Don't you always take your time when you're building these because that's when mistakes happen and everything else. Yeah. So um, we got a bit of feedback from Fan Home from our yes. last. Uh, Sunday's uh, live Thanks. stream. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, we were going on what we could see on the website. That, that That's as simple as it was. I just go onto the website. Yeah. So um, we did get a bit of feedback. Um, so if I just uh, try and share screen here, we were told the builds are still there, but you can't subscribe to them. No, but, but they're still they're still there in the background sort of thing yeah so yeah. if i share screen so i'll go to fan home main page here so basically if you are wanting to check out what there is on the website or is you've got a model it's an older model that's no longer there they are there bar a couple which i've noticed up there so if you i mean if you go let's say dodge charger okay so if you go up to the top you click on the Fast and Furious, scroll down, the Dodge Charger is there. So click on that, and then that's basically the information on the model, size, promo video, bits and pieces like that. So they are there. So you can do the same with the anything with the Marvel. Yep. Okay, so again, the Iron Man's there, the Gauntlet's there. Um, you still you can't subscribe to them though. That's you know. Yeah, it it redirects you. It redirects you if you go onto the Iron Man. It, I think yeah. it will suggest another build to build. Yeah. Not available. So if you go to movie series. Um, there we can see um, there's Kit down there, and then if you go to Star Wars. Uh, we've got the Millennium Falcon, you've got the vehicles, uh, the busts, but, and uh, the, encyclopedias. The, the encyclopedias. The only one I'm not seeing in there, though, is, uh, is the, the R2-D2. Yeah, I can't see it there. Yeah, that's not in there. So, I'm wondering whether they've kept it like that, because uh, also, as well, it says just down there, past uh, part works or past collections. Yeah. So these were ones that they did before. It's quite good that you can still access the, the sites for them and have a little look, but you can't subscribe to any of them. But they are yeah. they are there. Yeah. Um, but the active ones, the ones that you can actually physically subscribe to, are on yeah. obviously their main page, yeah. as we showed you last week. Well, so yes and no. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So yes and no, they're there, but not necessarily um again this the eleanor build was in on them on the main page um right. but that's no longer there uh this is new section i actually just noticed this past collections so there you the have it's naruto 
Ghostbusters. Yeah. Like um, I said, I think some of them are going to get sort of relaunched. Yeah. Um, obviously, the Enterprise D and Optimus Prime have been mentioned by Fan Home that they're relaunching. I, yeah. I know you said before we come on the stream that uh, the Enterprise is relaunching. Yeah, so that is no me. So that's the Enterprise being relaunched, yeah. um, and that is saying shipping begins in June 2024. So they are relaunching that um, again. So we'll just have to see how that goes. So, but that is up for relaunch, like I said, in June 2024. Um, that's only at the moment notify me, so you can put your email address in there, and it'll notify you when it's available to sign up. Yeah, also as well, this is the UK site. It might yeah. be, it's obviously different for the US and and yeah. um, German side and stuff like that. So. Yeah. so this is UK only. But, I mean, if you're wanting to know what's available in different countries, it's very simple. Yeah, yeah you can just select. Change your, change your country. There we yeah. go. Orion's available. Optimus Optimus Prime Prime yeah. Uh, Eleanor oh. is and Kitty's. Oh, and the Dodge Charger is. It, so, I'm wondering whether it's because of what they have in their warehouse at the time, sort of thing. Yeah. Because um, I think I think obviously they produce the parts in batches and not they can't they don't produce the parts just for one build at a time. They they have to do it in batches because um, yeah. of cost effectiveness and stuff like that. So I would imagine that it, it comes down to if they've got enough stock for a full build. That they offer it as a full build, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, if so, they if they've only got part of the part, if they've only got part of issues there, I don't know if they'll be able to put the collection on for you to get it because you you won't be able to finish it, sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know the logistics behind it. I've just noticed uh, Delorean in the United States is pre-order. Uh, Optimus Prime is pre-order. Lovely. Uh, Batmobile, yeah, you can sign up. ET, you can sign up. Uh, Iron Man is still there. And that's so uh, the DeLorean and the Optimus Prime is pre order at the moment. I'm surprised they haven't relaunched um, the Ecto 1, uh, especially with the film due out in, uh, in March, like the end of the month. Yeah. Sort of a perfect time to curry. Like, but then again, like I said, I don't know whether whether they're going to, and then um, do it as a pre-order. Uh, mm. Maybe they're getting parts ready for it and stuff like that. I don't know, but um, maybe they will. Maybe they will. I don't know. Um, yeah, but it seems like a good. I mean, if you're uh, into the marketing and stuff, that'd be a good time to relaunch it. Yeah, because it would coincide with the new movie, which features that ecto one as well yeah just got a beat down version of it just like the afterlife one did as well um so it would it would it would tie in it would tie in pretty well but it, then it depends on if they can get the parts i suppose and stuff like that. Well, yeah, it's logistics at the end of the day whether they can bring that out um, yes in time yeah uh, no, it comes it comes out maybe maybe you know, if the stars aligned, maybe they could have done it. Maybe they can't. I don't know. But um, marketing-wise, I would have thought it would be a quite a good time to sort of do that to relaunch it at least. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of those, like I said, a lot of those part works probably will get released anyway. Kit. Yeah. You know, e e Ecto One and stuff like. That, I'm pretty certain will come back again. They they're popular builds and they mm. sell well. So. Mm. All I can say is, like I said, we got some fa uh, feedback from Fan Home, so we thought we'd show everybody that you can still see the bills, when, but obviously you can't sign up for them because they're past collections at the moment. That doesn't mean that they're not going to relaunch them in the near future. So, yeah, brilliant. Possibility. Yeah. Um, so, uh, that's my bit. Um, you wanted to talk about the Enterprise, Kev? Yeah, the Enterprise bill. So, I've got so there's a bit of a discrepancy around this issue. It's issue 12. Now, originally, um, obviously, the, the great folks over at Hero Collectors or Eagle Moss, um, they changed the warp nacelle um, on the Enterprise. And um, originally, your original one, you've I think you've got a clear 
nav light, which is the flashing light on the back of the nacelle, and the warp grill, the orange bit that goes around the engine, was clear. It was see-through. Yeah. Um, later on in the build, they, they knew that that was wrong, and they changed it. So um, I believe, Mark, when you sign up to the new one, you get the new parts. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. Well, I so, actually got two stage, uh, two yeah. stage two. So yeah, I'm, you're, I'm going to kindly take one from you. <laughs> yeah. um, but I just want to point out now. Obviously, fan home took over. They won't. They won't do. Um, like they won't honor what you had at Eagle Moss. I understand that. That was with Eagle Moss. Um, the only problem is I don't get the new parts now. Um, if you go and check out my part works, which is Todd's uh, page, which is uh, like for reference material, it's the the Mac Daddy of part works. You want to like it's yeah. the the best thing for part works. If you go over there, there was originally a little slip in here from Eagle Moss that gave um, that told you the instructions on what to do and gave you the right parts. But because that was for Eagle Moss, you won't get them. So uh, because I obviously I'm a returning customer, I don't receive them. There is a workaround and that workaround is you could buy it before it obviously went off. It's up for pre-order now, but the, the workaround is you would, you would, you could buy or subscribe just for the first two issues. Mm. And because that's all you need, you just need the right warp grill, um, the element engine section, the orange part and the nav light. Uh, but, but yeah, I know there was um, there was discussion uh, around that part. I don't know what actually happened to it. I have not been offered it. Um, I know Fan Home won't honour it because that was for Eagle Moss. Uh, but Mark's come to the rescue. There, like I said, there is a bit of a workaround. You can resubscribe for the first two issues and then cancel it, so you get the right part. But yeah. I'm wondering whether I'm probably the, I might be the only one that resubscribed from issue twelve. Right. Well, from issue ten, um, so I may be the only one, but but yeah, I thought I'd just bring that up. Um, that the Eagle Moss one was clear, and the yeah. Fan Home one is the right one, so it's painted a full color. It's not see through, and the nav light is blue, um, which is the right car. I think it's blue or red. I think the one from Fan Home was clear. Right. But when Fan Home did it, uh, or when Eagle Moss did it, sorry, um, they sent um the extra bits in like a little bag you remember do you remember the fix for the uh, for the um terminator fingers you know they sent out the fix oh yeah it looked like it yeah. was just got a it was a and gone snip 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 yeah it was very similar to that so you've got like an extra little packet in issue 12 and then a little slip it's all on todd's website it's all on uh mypartworks.com Mm. Uh, and it discusses it there, but obviously Fan Home rectified that. In fact, Fan um, Eagle Moss did, and Fan Home now use the right parts, but they won't honour that. Like I said, Caesar to rectify. Just sign up for the first two issues, cancel it. You get the right part. Jobs are good. Um, so that's that's my workaround. But I just wanted to bring it up because just in case anyone got stuck on issue twelve and was like, um, I'm not received the right part because when you start receiving the second warp in the sale it's going to be different than the first one if you've got the clear. I yeah. hope that makes any sense because it's a bit confusing. But, but yeah, because it was for Eagle Moss and not through Fan Home, Fan Home don't honour anything for Eagle Moss. Um, that's fine, and I'm perfectly all right with that. But I just wanted to make people aware there's a workaround, and it is what it is. Um, I think might just paint it. <clears throat> yeah, you, I know lots of people painted it um, as well um you could just paint it um but yeah I, I know there's a little work around obviously i'm 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 gonna take one of your ones off your hands um to get the right part because you got sent two by mistake so um but yeah i thought i'd just print bring it up so you can get the right part but I, i'm wondering whether i'm the only one who's at this stage yeah <laughs> we've resubscribed at the lower stages because i had problems with eagle moss so I paused it. Yeah. Because I heard rumblings, I paused it. Uh, and then those rumblings became earthquakes, and we know what happened then. But I I paused it at the right moment. But at which point, lots of people were still getting theirs. I mean, some people were up to, like, 
issue 18, I think it was. So I was quite far behind, but I didn't want to do anything because uh, we knew what was going on there. But yeah, anyway, I'm wondering whether I'm one of the ones that are at the back. I just wanted to bring it up. But if you if you're subscribed already, like like you, Mark, if you're a new subscriber, you don't have to worry because you get the right part. Yeah, it's only for people who resubscribed and got the wrong part. Um, so yeah, yeah. I just I've got, to... I've got six months to build. So great. <laughs> I don't know how long um, I've, I'm, on, I'm only on issue 12. I'll still be building the Enterprise next year. So mine will finish next year. I know some people have already started finishing it. Um, Matthew Thomas did. Yeah. And this looks great. Uh, really good. Um, I'm pleased with the whole thing. I'm so glad that I'm still building it. I think a lot of people that sort of were I'm in an hour and about have actually gone, oh, actually, mm. I'm going to do that now. Yeah. Um, so that's good as well. But yeah, I just wanted to just bring that up. Okay, right. Well, I'll go start going through some of the uh, chat uh, that yeah. we've got here this evening. So uh, first in, I have D Harris says a very good evening, Mark and Kev. So evening, D. Evening. Uh, we've got Stephen Belcher saying hi, Mark and Kev. So evening, Stephen. Welcome hi, to yeah. the stream. Hi, Stephen. Uh, we've got Dave Matt Builds in saying good evening, Mark and Kev. Have a great stream tonight. Hi, Dave Matt. Thank you. Hi, Welcome Dave. Uh, we've got David Phillips says, evening, Kevin, Mark, and all in chat. So, evening, David. Hi, David. Uh, we've got Steve 131 in saying, evening, all. So, evening, Steve. Thank Hi, you. Steve. Uh, we've got Scott Duggan in saying, good evening, everyone. Hope you all had a good weekend. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah not been bad so far. Apart uh, from the weather. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not been too bad around here. Uh, it's just always raining. <laughs> It's just always raining at the minute. We tend to don't go out on a weekend. You, you do know that they the thing is it's it's been raining so much they're gonna start I guarantee we'll have a drought in the summer. Hose yeah, pipe ban and had so much you rain. Remember this time of year it's the wrong type of rain. Oh yeah, yeah, like the wrong type of leaves. <laughs> yeah. Um no we don't go out on the weekend really unless we really have to so. yeah it's, it's it's always busy everywhere the roads and everything else yeah, yeah. don't blame you uh we've got mad dad oh hang on mad dad oh, Hobbs yeah. in, <laughs> in, you know, so evening. Hi, dad. uh we've got will's workshop in saying Hi, evening, will. evening will uh we've got terry martin in saying evening all evening terry hi terry uh we've got steve 131 waving away <laughs> Uh, we've got Scott Duggan in saying, do you know what's happening with the latest ET? As it says on my portal, there's delays. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There's delays. Yeah, yeah. They they did put out a message. Uh, I received an email, but they also sent, they also posted it on their customer service Facebook page that there's delays with, I think, most builds because of the way they've now got to go around the Horn of Africa instead of through the Red Sea because of what's happening there. So potential de there's delays on everything. Yeah. So I don't know how long the delays are for, by the way. Um, but there are delays. All I can say is I hope they just mash ship a load over so they don't have to. I mean, it'd be cheaper anyway. So yeah, I, I, I think in the in the email or on one of the messages on Facebook, I think they said that there is a plan in place to minimise yeah. disruption. There is going to be disruption, but they're going to minimise it. I don't know what that means, but yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got building with the boys in Scott saying evening all. Hi Scott. Um, we've got Spider Sprue in saying made it was building furniture for my daughter. Hi Mark and Kev and everyone in chat. So evening Spider Sprue. Thank you, Spider Sprue. Uh, we've got Horlix in saying good evening all. Evening Horlix. Hi Horlix, are you going back to Orton Towers Horlix for the new Nemesis? Oh, he's had major problems with that one. Oh, yeah, they don't get him started on it because it's yeah. It's a good ramp. Oh, wow. really like a good ramp. It's a good ramp. Uh, we've got Helder Comanche in saying hi all. So hi Helder. Hi Helder. And um, we've got Ian Campbell in saying hi Ian. all. Hi, Ian, Ian. I, just wanna, I just wanna bring up something that Ian's posted on the Partwork Upgrades um, Facebook page. Uh, Wayne is uh, getting rid of some models. Some, some of the models that he built on this channel. Uh, go and check out Power Cup Grades Facebook page. There are some amazing bargains there for for built models. Um, yeah, have you got it there, Mark? Yeah, I have. I'm just yeah. bring it up now. Um, um, 
So if th this is your like, if you've not, if you think like building the whole thing is a bit daunting, or you haven't, or, or you think the money's a bit too much, this is your chance to grab not only one that Wayne's built himself, but an absolute bargain. Um, and there's quite a few cars there, so you can sort of go through them there. Mark, we've got the Ferrari that's there. Ferrari Forte. Uh, that's the E-Type e Jack. Uh, we've got the Lamborghini Miura. Uh, we've got the uh, Porsche. Uh, we've got the Dodge Charger. Charger. Uh, we've got the Renault Alpine. Uh, we've got the Peugeot okay. 5. Wow. Yeah, nice one, that is. That's really nice. Amazon. Oh, yeah, we've got the Amazon. Uh, we've got the Mustang GT500. Uh, we've got the uh, fire truck. Yeah. Uh, wow. We've got okay, the Grand Prix one. Yeah, I Mercedes. Don't know what that, I think that, yeah, I think that was a Mercedes, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, we've got the Millennium Falcon. That I'll tell you what that that is. Look, if you go for anything, go for Falcon because that is I amazing. Did, I, did. I mean, that was one of his first models he did on YouTube. Yeah. That, that yeah. Parting with a lot of uh, a lot of memories in that, I think. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, Wayne's yeah. parting with 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 uh, all these builds. So if you you fancy any of these, get in contact with Ian or Wayne, and uh, grab yourself one because yeah, there's some really yeah. nice ones there as well. Would love to, but just cannot afford right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, so space, there you go. Space, it's the space I've got. I'm, I'm running out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's yeah. a space here. Oh no, I <laughs> just, uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, I'd love to, but I just really can't afford at the moment. But, but yeah, get yourself over to um, Parkwork Upgrades. Uh, all the information is there. Um, but yeah, yeah, worth having a check out. Okay, we've got David Bassett in saying evening, Mark and Kevin, all in chat. Evening, David. Hi, David. And we've got Dash Riptide in saying, I'm with you, Kevin. I'd love to get more parts to do more, even if they would send more parts per pack, it would save us and then money in boxes and delivery. But that that's what they're starting, doing. That's starting to happen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You get six now with um, the the Tumblr. Mm -hmm. You get six issues sent with that. Um, you get five with Optimus Prime. So they are sort of giving you more now. Yeah, they are up in that. They are listening. They are sort of saying, "Yeah, it, like you said as well." They save on shipping and boxes and money. Yeah, um, we mean, get more. Uh, Harshet do that with the alien, don't they? Yeah, the alien is uh, it's it's built within a year. It's a uh, thirteen packs. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Um, so it is happening. It's just taking its time. Okay, Will's Workshop says, what have, what have I done? Just purchased an E-Type, had built by Wayne, check that work upgrades as 12 of Wayne's models have just been put up for sale. That's, That's what we've just said. Uh, also, yeah. Will's, Will, I want to also say as well, on his channel at the moment, he is he's going to sort of um, update or um, sort of just maintenance the original DB5 that Eagle Moss did. Right. And it's a good one to watch, and I'll tell you why, and that is because it's completely different from the Agora one. So there's a load of different gadget bits on it as well. And mm -hmm. it's also quite a good um, series to watch because it's going to break down what, what he needs doing. And obviously every every couple of years, I think it's quite a good thing to do, is to just go through your models, check they all work, and do yeah. a little bit of maintenance on them. I, I, I do do that. Um, my next one is actually my Millennium Falcon. I need to get that down and clean it up and do a, put a few bits on that have fallen off and you know we're moving and everything. So yeah, yeah, anyway. it's always good to take them every couple of years, take them down, check them all out. Yeah, check them out. always take the batteries out though because they corrode. Yeah, they leak or corrode in a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. You know what though? To tell you the truth, and I know I know this sounds mad. I wish Ian would do a would do a power mod for the um millennium falcon did he, he did he not do one no no right. 
Remember the original run of the Millennium Falcon? We got it, and they said, "Oh yeah, we got we put the power thing in onto it." I was like, "Oh great, we're going to get a power lead for this, so we don't have to do it by batteries." And they never sent you the power lead. No, they never sent you it. But if you were to buy it off, because it was Model Space at the time's website, it was like twenty five pound. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. We are talking probably eight, ten years ago. Twenty-five pounds for a power lead. It's and about four like, quid now. Yeah, and I was like, "You are joking me there." So oh, I, yeah, it was a twelve. Was it a twelve volt one? Wasn't it a bit like um? If I remember right, it's a bit like um, like a, a laptop lead. Yeah. It was like that sort of style. And we never got it. Well, no. I never got it because it was an additional no. price you had to pay, and I wasn't like I'm back ten years ago. You're talking twenty five quid quid for just a power lead. I don't think so. You know, a lot. Yeah. Batteries, but now things have come down like in price. It would be nice if we would, you know, because you. I don't think they're going to offer it. I don't think Fan Home are going to offer it really if it's not in the original room because it was an added extra. It was, yeah, yeah. It's on. It's on the Falcon. The the, the point is on the Falcon. You can. Yeah. And power it from the main. I remember Absolutely. it was one. Of, it's one of the few models that actually comes with like that uh, that ability where you could have batteries or mains. Yeah. So I would love to see a power adapter for the Millennium Falcon because that would be a lot better than the batteries. Yeah. And like me now, it's above me. I could switch it on when I want. Yeah. Wanted. So there we go, Ian. If you can, that would be much appreciated. Yeah, uh, we got Mark's hobby says, Has anyone else had problems with the fan home portal? Yes, um, all my builds and, pa and packs are all over the place, so <laughs> it says uh, pack 10, and then the one underneath it will say sort of pack one, and then pack seven, and it's all muddled up. But they did put out a Facebook post saying that they had a computer glitch and they were sorting it, right. Okay. But all the packs are on there. They're just all jumbled up on, on my portal anyway. But I know that they've had, had problems. They did mention it. Actually, to tell you the truth, um, because my Ross is finished now, and it's still you can still still view it on the Diagostini portal, that's now swapped around. So now at the top, you're seeing pack one, and then underneath yeah. pack, two, pack three. So, yeah. Um, not like I'm going to um, check Go it. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've got Dash Riptide says my member portals on both USA sites, the packs are all jumbled up lately. I think they need a little IT work, yeah, yeah. Like I just said, that was what mine are all jumbled up, they are all there, they're just all jumbled up. But they did mention that there was an IT problem, yeah. And they were well, fixing I'll, it. I'll tell you the truth, this isn't the first time it's happened, it's happened before. No, no, yeah, it's yeah, even with me. When I've been building with them and stuff like that recently, it's happened a few times. It's a bit like a computer virus that just won't go away. It just yes, it's it's something. It something must happen, and uh, it comes and goes all the time. But they do sort it out. It sorts out pretty well, pretty quick. Yeah. So there's no nothing to worry about. It's not a problem. Uh, Paul Jordan's in saying hi, Kev and Mark, and all in chat. Evening, Paul. Welcome hi, Paul. to the stream. I think that's what. Oh no, I have um, starred more. Uh, Will's Workshop says, I think if Van Home had the Ecto available when I signed up for the Batmobile, it would have been a difficult choice. So, yeah. So, it, but I'm, pretty Ecto, certain, I'm pretty certain those, like, you know, Ecto 1 and DeLorean, they will. I mean, if they've got it up for pre order already in the US, I would imagine it would be for the UK at some point. Yeah. Uh, we've got Carl Williamson in saying, Hi, Kev. So oh. hi, Carl. Um, that I put in the link for Todd's website at mypartworks.com. So just check out Todd's website. Like I said, it explains yeah, if you go on Todd's website and you put in, I think it's stages, hang on, uh, 43. Yeah, 43 onwards, you'll see the little note on there. Yeah. About the extra bytes you used to get through Eagle Moss, but that's all changed now. It's, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not too far. So. Uh, Dash Riptide says, nope, I'm only on issue 11, Kev. That's the Enterprise. Oh, uh, right. Okay. So um, you're on issue 11, I'm on issue 12. Yeah. So we sort of jumbled up there. But, yeah, there is um, – if you received that clear part, 
there is a workaround. So. Yeah. Uh, we've got Todd in saying hello and good evening all. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Uh, and then we've got D Crowley in saying thoughts on the Batmobile Tumbler. Um, I think the build's okay. It looks good. It's just the part count that we knew. We knew the parts were going to be. There weren't going to be as many parts, but I think what you're paying for and what you're getting is a bit different. But then I think we've been spoiled with other things, you know, with yeah. other builds that we've had where we've had more to do and stuff. It just seems a little bit not a lot. That's my only take on it. Yeah. I do like it. It looks good. It's going to be an awesome model when it's built. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, D. Harris says, evening all on the other side. The other side by D. Uh, World's Workshop says the E-Type is no longer available. <laughs> That's the one on. he got, yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve131 says, a Wayne built model, epic. Yep. And he says, uh, at Mark's more second-handed, hate being poor. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, uh, yeah, it's not easy living on the breadline. Uh, Steve one three one says, "Do you get a certificate of authenticity from Wayne?" Oh uh, well, I'm pretty certain that could be mocked up. Yeah. Uh, World Workshop says, "Thanks, Kev, for the shout. I'm hopeful the first of the DB five rebuild will be up in the next couple of weeks." Yeah, it's worth watching because um, you well one. I don't think there was any build videos done because it was done pre sort of youtube build videos in part works and it's got a lot of more extras on it than the the uh the um agora one as in yeah. terms of other things because it's totally different so yeah it does have some things but there's other there's other little bits on it that doesn't it doesn't have on the um agora one so it's it's worth checking both out because they're both tip they are different i would say it's a little bit old technology because things will be done different now yeah, yeah. I mean, the blast shield pops up and down, um, and there's other little clunky bits on it. But it's really interesting because, like I said, not it was pre-built videos, so it, it came out. I don't think there's any videos. I've never seen a video on someone building it on YouTube. Right. Um, Wayne, so, actually, Wayne built it. Did he? Yeah, he built it for somebody in Spain, I believe. They sent it all right. over to him. And right. he built it. Was that a long time ago? A couple of years ago, but yeah, I built it on YouTube. Oh, right. Okay. Because I couldn't find any on it. And maybe I was looking in the wrong place. But um, but yeah. Yeah, it's always good to have a look. Uh, I'll read this one out. D says he's <laughs> just signed them, Steve. LOL. <laughs> yeah. Underneath Steve. him, you can find underneath him. Will says, uh, already said to Wayne he needs to supply a plaque. <laughs> well, he can't actually can't he? Because he's got that uh, engraving machine. Yeah, he's got. A, yeah, he's got that engraving machine. Yeah. Yeah. Black for him. Uh, Ian says noted, so that might be he's looking into the, uh, the power, power mod, power mod, mod for the Millennium Vulcan. So brilliant. Was there one on uh, the X Wing? Uh, yes, we got that. We got oh, the power right. mod. Yeah. So, you, but X Wing, you could do it by batteries. Or you could do it by power, and it did come with the X-Wing. So my X-Wing's in a loft. Right. At the moment, because um, I've got no wall space left in here, even though I'm in a living room. But I have to keep one part at least looking like a living room. Yeah. So uh, Ken Fairclough says, there is no difference between getting four packs every four weeks and six packs every six weeks to the builder. No, um, getting six packs every six weeks, you're still paying the same. Yeah. If you were getting four every four weeks. So there's no real difference. You're just getting more at the same sort of pace, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, it's a good, good idea. Like I said, they reduce their cost of sending out, mm -hmm. and you still pay the same amount for six issues as you would if you were getting whatever. So. Yeah. Uh, Will's Workshop says Wayne has done an Eagle Moss DB5 build. I'm, I'm, you know what? <laughs> so many builds it. out, so many videos, and I've, I've, I forget. So I remember I it because he more or less chucked out the Eagle Moss instructions and used Todd's website to build it. Right. Okay. It was that bad. <laughs> uh, Paul Jordan says, uh, "Just purchased the Millennium Falcon." Wow. Oh, well done. 
Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that because that is a bargain. Yeah. Uh, Daffrit Tad says, uh, you know, if they ever did a Captain Harlock ship, the Arcadia, or had a trial for it, question mark? Uh, I don't know. Not off the top of my head. Um, I've not heard of that one either. I'm trying to think. I've, I can't think. I can't think off the top of my head. It might yeah. come to me if they did one, but uh it's, if they did one it was never offered to us here right. you know maybe in, in europe or japan or somewhere but no uh world's workshop says i think wayne only did it last year or it last year last year i thought it was a bit longer than that i thought it maybe not last year the year before but oh right okay maybe yeah. uh, 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 there's so many videos coming in and out and i'll get confused and yeah. Do you know what? I'll probably end up watching the videos and going, I've watched this. There's yeah. so many. I've done that with so many things. Like I'll be watching a TV show, like, oh, this looks new. This looks good. I'll watch it and go, I've seen this. I'm getting senile. Hey, this, I tell you one thing, this is working. Um, David Phillips says, I put the Millennium Falcon in my basket, got to the checkout, and it was gone. There we go. Tell you what, let's share it again. This is let's do a sale here. <laughs> Right. Okay. Let's 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 um, let's let's go. I've still got it up, so let's go for it. Do we get commission? I don't know. But <laughs> I'm joking. Because they're seeing it, then it's working. Yeah, that's the uh, that's a really nice Ferrari as well. So we have the Ferrari F40. This was Pen uh, Penini. Penini. Penturia. Um, that I remember was a nightmare of a build. From what I that was remember. over COVID. Yeah. And. They weren't sending parts out. It was a nightmare. Start to finish, the I, truth, I would say that we're doing sales here. Yeah. This is probably of quite a rare build now because you can't get it anymore. No. And to get a completed one, that's quite difficult because not a lot of people and, completed theirs. And not only that, mega expensive. Yeah, not a lot of people completed them. It's going to be mega expensive because they you can't get it anymore. I don't think another company is going to do it. Um for for a while at least so and it's a really good it looks it looks like you know it's got that shape of a ferrari you know when you thought when someone says to you a ferrari and you have that shape in your head that's yeah. it that's the shape right hang on a minute we could put some background music onto this all right okay <laughs> here we go right so that is a ferrari f40 we'll go to the next one this has already been sold to Will's Workshop. This is the uh, Agora uh, Jaguar Type. Yeah, yeah. Convertible. Nice one. There we go. There okay, we go. but that's already been sold to Will's Workshop, so no longer available. Uh, there we have Miura. the Agora uh, Lamborghini Miura. You're okay. building it at the moment. Yeah, I'm building this as well. I'm just two packs away from finishing it. Nice. So, there we have that. That is still available from Agora if you want to build this from the beginning. So there we go. Um, next we have the uh, Porsche. Is uh, that the IXO uh, one? Yeah, I think that's the IXO 901, is it? Yeah, yeah. So it's got the Steve McQueen one, wasn't it? Yes, I believe so. So that is Yes, yeah, my field. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next, we go to Fan Homes and um, originally a model space, and that is the Fast and Furious Dons Dodge Dod. Yeah, really good one. Obviously, we've just looked at this. It's not available at the moment. Yeah. Um, it might come back. It might not, and it's worth picking up, especially if you're doing the GTR. Goes yeah. well with that. Um, yeah. So definitely worth a pickup. It's it's yeah. a good, it's a solid build. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, we go to the next one. Now, this is the Renault Alpine. This is again from IXO Collections. Yeah, another nice one. IXO Collections do these sort of sort of rally sort of type cars that no other place yeah. does. Yeah. Um, but the Alpine's a really nice one. It's a Renault. So, um, I think, yeah. I think that was recently finished as well. Uh, yeah, it was only recently finished. Yeah. So that is practically brand new, people. So, yeah. Yeah. Self a bargain. 
Okay, we'll go to the next one. This is my favourite. I don't know why. Yeah. It looks like an honest car you'd see in. Great That's what Britain. I mean. It's one of those. It's one of those ones where we grew up with one of these. You know, yeah. the GTI going about everywhere. I've, I've seen many of them at car shows yeah. and stuff. Um, if I, if I was out of all the cars there, out of all the cars there, it's definitely one that I would get. Yeah, it's from my I would get the Peugeot 205 because yeah, I nice was one. building that and it was the most honest engine I've ever seen in terms yeah. of you knew what was in it. So again, that is another one by IXO Collections. Yeah, nice one that is. Really nice. Uh, there we have the Volvo Amazon, another IXO collection build. Yeah, it's, an, now, it's, an, it's a new one as well. It's only really last couple of years that's been on there, last year or so. It's, now, remember, it's a fairly new one. This was featured in Wayne's 24-hour marathon to try and build a 1.8 scale model. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a full kit as well from IXL Collections. So, and it's a nice one, look at that. Yeah, it is a nice one. Yeah. A bit too old for me, but, you know, everybody yeah, I, their, it's, a, it's a really weird one because I don't ever remember seeing them about... Oh, obviously, I must have sold them here in the UK, but I don't remember seeing them. It's more of a... Yeah. A finish, a fiendish, a, a, a finish. Is that what yeah. they're called? I'm butchering that. Finland. <laughs> okay, so next we go to the Shelby Mustang GT500 Agora models. Now I remember this was Agora models' first ever uh, model they ever. Yeah, this, this was their first model that they ever they ever done, yeah. and it's nice when it comes with two sets of wheels as well, if I remember rightly. Yeah. The thinner ones and the the block ones as well um but yeah it's a nice build yeah so again that could be a nice piece to your collection first ever agora model that was ever released yeah so definitely a memorable one uh there we have the ladder nine fire truck again by agora models yeah it's a nice one it's got all the bells and whistles the ladder goes up as well and down yeah. um yeah. it's got loads of features on it it even comes with that dot that really cool diorama Yes. Of inside the fire station, which is nice. Yeah. So, again, another unique model. Uh, yeah. Collection. Um, now, this has been sold already. Right. And when I go back to the chat, I'll, I can read that out. But uh, this yeah. is the uh, Mercedes uh, yeah. 1955 Grand Prix winner. I believe, again, this one was by Agora Models. Uh, was it Agora or was it IXO? No, I'm sure this was Agora. Okay. I'm sure it was I Agora. Be sure. I won't yeah, be sure. Yeah, but... Agora model box there by, beside it. Oh, so. yeah. Good spot. <laughs> so, another Agora model uh, scale model. And then lastly, this has been sold, unfortunately. Yeah. But... The original <laughs> Millennium Falcon, the Diagostini Millennium yeah. Falcon. And I uh, it's... It's... When was this? When did this come out? 2017? Uh... I think it was 2015 actually. Oh, was it? Was it old than that? Jeez, yeah. I remember doing it. Yeah. It was one of the one of the first pop culture part works I think I did. And again, this is one of the first uh, models Wayne did on his channel. Yeah, I remember. I remember watching Wayne build it back then as well. Um, yeah, if you go back to his channel, he looks very, very young. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's one of his first builds that he did on the channel. So, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of memories. Like I said, when that popped up, I was like, there's a lot of memories in that build there. Yeah, definitely. So, if you haven't already purchased one or they haven't already got, there you go, guys. You can grab yourself a yeah. bit of uh, history there. Yeah. Well, right. I'll come back to us. That was a bit of good. <laughs> what I felt like I was on the tele televised uh, <laughs> televised modeling there. Yeah. That was quite fun. Okay, right. I'll go to this chat. It's probably gone um, crazy. Crazy. Right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, there we go. David Phillips says I bought the Mercedes, the Mercedes instead. instead. <laughs> yeah. They're saying, uh, I'm surprised they're all not. They're 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 all there still. Yeah. Mad Dog Hobby says uh, that's already sold. Uh, Ian Campbell says the F40 is gone. Here we go. Can we sell out before the end of these? Oh yeah, we got we got what yeah. 10, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> We might get a when mention next week from Wayne, so there we go. <laughs> uh, Will's Workshop says, recently watched a video on the Chrysler Turbine. Really interesting. 
watching, especially if you are building kit, as it's basically the same engine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, David Bassett says, wow, Wayne clearing out his old man cave. Yeah, having a bit of a clear out for new builds. Yeah, Dash Reply says, Wayne builds it, Ian sells it, and Kevin Mark are the salespeople. <laughs> for the parts companies, they get more subs. Well, it's always well, it's, it's a bit of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Carl Williams says, I'll take it, Wayne. He's trying to make space at home. Yeah, well, he's got, what's he got, 28 builds on the go? Yeah. So I would like imagine, that. yes. <laughs> I would imagine it's a space thing. <laughs> uh, well, Wayne and himself saying, I need space, LOL. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 Uh, Mad Dad Hobby says the 917, that's sold too. So that's gone already. Yeah. Uh, Carl Williams says, how about a part work auction, Zian? Yeah. Yeah. That could work. Uh, Will's Workshop says Wayne needs to make space for more models, or Mrs. Wild of Wayne has taken over with fabric. I tell you what, um, I tell you what they do do on a lot of websites, and I do it now. Obviously, I, I collect wrestling belts. Yeah. So I've I've actually won some of those wrestling belts. Now on a group that I'm on, they they do the lottery. Yeah. So you you spend um, what's it two pound a number? So you put two pound a number in. If your number comes up, you get a belt. There you go. And the belts are about four hundred pound each, and you've just paid two quid for a ticket. Yeah. So maybe maybe um, Ian could come up with something like that. Yeah. Uh, Dafrit Ty says, "Well, Wayne is building the Falcon a second time, so realistically, he would sell the first one." Makes sense. <laughs> Will's workshop says, "Why do I now feel like I'm watching QVC?" <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got we, it's an entertainment. Why yeah. not? If we, if the selling right. was where I was showing them, well, yeah. If anyone wants selling anything, let us know. <laughs> uh, David Bassett says, "Well, Wayne just came wrong point of the month for me. They will be all gone by uh, the time my pension goes in, Wayne." <laughs> Uh, Steve 131 says, Is the bus there? No, no, Rick uh, Martin, no. Says, no, I'm keeping some models, have to be curate. I think that is or accurate. Uh, duh, duh, duh. uh just trying to catch, uh, I'm not starred now, so I'm like, What is going on right. here? What's uh, happening? <laughs> David Bassett says, Has Esther spotted another machine for her crafting? <laughs> Um, we've got a thank you from the key and say thanks, Kevin. Matt. Right. Anytime. Why yeah, Anytime. why not? Yeah. You should have told us we could have had a prepared and everything. Ready yeah, if any, if, if any of the part work companies are, are listening to and seeing this and they want us to do a similar thing. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Uh, Wayne says, no, she's making me move bedrooms, though. LOL. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, here we go. Ian Campbell says six of twelve sold. So we're doing well. Uh, Ian Campbell says I was at Wayne today. Couldn't move for boxers. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Helga. Uh, sorry, Helda says good night, Kev, Mark, and also good night, Helda. Good Thank night, you Helda. And I'm caught up on chat. So, Whoa. Sort of, so we kind of helped. Yeah, we've done all right, I think. Yeah, we've done well. There's a lot of good ones there. There's some really like gems there, and for the price, yeah. I think it's amazing. The so, the 205 is oh, yeah, I wish I had the money for that. I really yeah, the 205 is a lovely model. Yeah, I'd have that tomorrow, but unfortunately, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't afford right now. Uh, yeah. uh Will's, Will's Workshop says, uh, so glad I jumped on the e type. Yeah, so next time, if this is happening again, let us know, and we'll do another QVC Pat Works live show. <laughs> Yeah, Why see if not? we can get more moot because, yeah, if it's worked, yeah, it's what well, I'm wondering how many people actually knew about it before we mentioned, and then people have gone, hang on, well, we know people have gone, hang on a minute, and gone straight over, yeah, so there yeah, we there we go. Uh, Dave Matt Bill says, uh, been a great stream tonight, guys, no problem, Dave Matt, thank you for watching. Cheers, Dave. Uh, Dash Riptide says, I wouldn't be surprised if Of Wayne has to sell them all for putting the Enterprise above the TV. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Is it still going there? Is that the, is that the move? I don't know if I think they were still umming and ahhing about it. Yeah. Uh, Ian's put in, uh, sorry, sold three via you guys. Thanks. No problem, Ian. No problem, Ian. Anytime. Glad to help. I just uh, hope we can sell the rest of them. Uh, people are watching this stream and going over there and buying the rest of them. That's, yeah, why that's, not? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's some really nice gems there. Yeah. And um, Yeah. Definitely. I had to really use my knowledge of part works there as well to remember which company did them. Yeah, because I didn't. <laughs> Some of them I knew, but others, like you said, that Mercedes, I thought that was IXO because it's it come it it seems like an IXO model. That's the reason why I said it because they do those sort of racing rally type cars. Yeah, but I think it was one of them special ones where I think you only had a limited number available. I, I, I could be wrong. That's, that's even you know what I mean that's even better sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, Will's Workshop says, part work live shopping channel. <laughs> I know. It's a bit if it works, hey, look, if it works. It's a, it's a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, D-Ho says, a very good night, Mark and Kev. Excellent stream. See you next week. So thanks, See you later, Dee. Uh, Dee also says, good night, at Dave Matt Bills. And Ian says, no room for Enterprise. His TV is Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, yeah, that's us for another week, isn't it? Because we're coming up on the hour. I've caught up with chat. That was some good fun tonight. I didn't expect it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've had, um, we've looked through things. We've sort of corrected stuff. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, we've done everything tonight, I think. We've discussed what's new. Nothing's new at the moment. No. I've got a funny feeling that we're going to get, we're going to see some new part work soon. Uh, because, yeah. like I said, Agora has, um, Agora hasn't been or hasn't mentioned anything lately. I know they've got the Apache coming out, but that's near summer. Yeah. So maybe they have got something up their sleeve. Um, Hachette have gone very quiet. I've got to also say as well, in terms of Hachette, my contact at Hachette has now left the company. So I don't have a contact there anymore. But uh, there are stuff uh, sort of circulating, saying they're having problems. So, yeah. I don't think they are, but there's rumours going around. You hear it all the time. Yeah. Uh, Will's Workshop says, good night, all. Have a great night. Thanks, Will. Cheers, Will. Uh, Ian Campbell says, night, all. Great stream. Thanks, Ian. Cheers, Ian. Carl Williams says, night, all. Uh, all. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah we'll... So much fun tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Uh, I think we'll uh, we'll wrap up there. It's a good time. Yeah. Everyone's sort of bashing out. So. Yeah, definitely no problem. So, thank you everybody for watching. Been a fantastic stream as always. Bit of fun tonight, you know. Why not? It's all about fun. <laughs> yeah. stream is. Um, and uh, yeah, um, we'll see you all the same time uh, yeah, next great. week, same place, same time, yeah. same post. And uh, yeah, uh, so I've been Mark and I've been Kev, and we'll catch you all next week, guys. Bye. See you later, guys.